Hey Trail at Go Hunt. Uh, today I want to run through some of the releases that we have in the gear shop. Uh, it is midsummer. We're right in the midst of getting ready for the bow hunts. Some of those bow hunts, especially in states like Nevada, kick off as soon as the middle of August. So now's a great time to dig your bow out if you haven't already and really start to put some reps in with your bow. Uh, with that, we wanted to run through some of the new releases that we have in our Go Hunt gear shop. Um, some of these have been around for a long time, but they're actually maybe just new to our shop. Uh, we really wanted to highlight some releases that we haven't done in the past. And I've picked a selection here of about 10 releases, and I just kind of wanted to do a run through, touch on some of the facts and features of each individual release, and kind of give you my ideas on what I think would be a good option depending on what you're looking for. Uh, so starting here at the left, I'm going to jump into some of the releases we carry from a company called Stanis Lasky. Uh, these are relatively well known among the target archers of the world. They've been making releases for a long time. Uh, I think I bought my first stand probably 10 years ago. They really make a nice release that's packed with features. So first and foremost, I'm going to jump in and grab this one here on the end. This is the Stan Perfex Long Neck. Uh, one of the great features about this release is that when you buy it, it's actually going to come with a third finger peg here. So if you don't want to shoot this as a four finger, you can shoot it as a three finger. It's got a little auto locking lever here that you can see, which is a nice little feature. It makes it very easy and quiet to load your D loop onto this release. You also get a ton of adjustability with this release. You can adjust the angle of the thumb peg. So as you see, your hand sits here naturally kind of off to the edge. You can adjust this thumb peg to get a nice fit for your finger. Uh, you can adjust the size of the barrel. It actually comes with different barrel sizes, and it also comes with different lengths of pegs. So you can increase this length of the trigger. Of course, you can adjust the tension. You can adjust the travel. This release is packed with features that will allow you to fine tune it to your shot style. Uh, this is my personal release. I just picked this up in the gear shop yesterday. I'm going to take this home and play with it this weekend. I kind of switch back and forth between a hinge and a thumb a little bit, but I am going to give this a go. It feels really comfortable in your hand. This release is actually available in three different sizes. You can get it in a medium, a large, or an extra large. So for you guys with baseball gloves for hands, you can get that extra large to fit your fingers. So once again, that's the Stan Perfects Long Neck. This is one of my very favorite le releases that we carry in the Go Hunt gear shop. Moving into another release that I would say is complementary to the Stan Perfects. Uh, this is the Stan Perfects Resistance Release. This is almost identical to the Stan Perfects release. The only difference is that this is a resistance release, meaning there is no trigger on this. It does have a safety mechanism, so you can hold this in as you draw your bow, meaning that it will not fire. Once you come to full draw, you can relax your finger off that peg, find your anchor point, and then pull through to activate the shot. So these two, in my opinion, work very well in conjunction with each other. Um, you could buy these two. It would be a sizable chunk of money because they are not cheap, but they are very nice releases. This would be a killer combo, one for training, shooting in your backyard to really help you develop those muscles and that muscle memory. The other for actually shooting and hunting with uh, and shooting it the exact same way, only with the command of a trigger. So these two would work really nice in conjunction, both of them, again, from Stanislavski. Perfects, Perfects Resistance. So this is a great resistance release in the shop. Another release that we have from Stanislavski that I really like is the Stan Shoot Off TL. This is probably one of the most comfortable releases in my hand. Uh, it comes in a three finger version, and it has a little dip here for your pinky to fit in. It's very easy to load. You're simply going to press the trigger in here, drop that hook over, and you can hook that onto your D loop. You can leave it hang on your D loop, which is a nice feature if you're sitting in a tree stand. No need to find your release when it's crunch time. Uh, similar to the other stand release, you can change the angle of the thumb barrel on the trigger, which is nice. You really get an idea of how that thing fits right there in my thumb. It's a real natural fit. You can, of course, change the tension, the travel on this release as well as the angle. You can see you can move that up and down. Again, tons of customization in these Stan Slosky releases. One thing I really like about the stands is the trigger. So once you push that trigger, it's a really clean, nice, crisp break. 
Um, some of the nicest releases, in my opinion, uh, if you're looking for a thumb trigger release, are these Stanislavski's. One other really neat feature about these Stanislavski releases is that they have a safety. So it has this neat little screw that screws into the thumb trigger here, and you can install that in the front part here where the clasp is, and that will actually allow this release not to fire. So if you just want to draw, anchor, and work on aiming, this is a great release. This will really help you to work on aiming drills, uh, which I highly recommend. So once again, this is the Stand Shoot Off TL. This is a really nice release if you're looking for a thumb trigger release. Uh, now I'm going to move over into a couple other thumb trigger options for you. Uh, one being the Carter Wise Choice. I've covered this in a review before, but I wanted to touch on it again because it is such a nice release. Uh, hands down, every year since we opened the gear shop, this has been our best selling release. Primarily, I think because it just fits so well in your hand. It is a super comfortable release. It does come with a cord here, which you can use to wear around your wrist so that you don't lose it. That's one concern of some guys as they're packing around a thumb trigger or a hinge release is that they can set that thing down and walk off and leave it. This release is pretty straightforward in use. Essentially, you're gonna use the locking mechanism. You just push this onto your D-loop push this back down to lock that over your D-loop and then you're ready to go. You can adjust the tension of this release right here with the set screw, it's a very simple adjustment. And one of my favorite things, like I said, about this Carter Wise Choice is just how comfortable it is in your hand. It just fits and it fits a wide variety of hands. Um, I would highly, highly recommend this release and, and like I said, it's the best selling release that we have in the gear shop. Moving over to another thumb release from Carter. This is a four finger version. This is the Insatiable 2 Plus. Some people like a four finger release, myself included. One of the reasons I like a four finger release is because I get that little added bite in my pinky. What happens for me is I come to full draw, sometimes as I'm pulling and trying to execute my shot, I'll hang up on a three finger version because I don't feel like I have quite the torque that I do on that fourth finger. So a four finger release actually helps me sometimes make a clean break when I'm struggling and I'm getting long in my shot process. So I've got that fourth finger peaky on that and as I relax through and pull through my shot, it helps me actually make a clean break. I personally really like a four finger release. Um, again, you kind of have to decide what's best for you. But if you're looking for one, this Insatiable 2 is super comfortable in the hand. It's very similar to the Wise Choice, but it's a four finger model slightly swept back, really comfortable in the hand, very easy to load onto a D-loop. You just simply flip that hook over and then lock that clasp in. You do have adjustment in the amount of tension that makes this release fire, which is great. You can rotate this barrel around to get a more custom fit for your thumb and your shooting style. So once again, if you're looking for a four finger, this Carter Insatiable 2 is one of my very favorites that we carry in the Go Hunt gear shop. So it's pretty well known, I've talked about it a lot, that my favorite release style is a hinge. And a hinge simply fires by changing angle in the clasp. So as this angle changes, you're pulling through your shot, there's no trigger whatsoever. Uh, as soon as you pull through and kind of execute your shot, this thing's gonna break. The reason I like a hinge is because I had a really bad case of target panic about 10 years ago. I couldn't handle it, I couldn't deal with a trigger release, so I had to switch over a hinge and learn to completely shoot this thing you know, all over. You can punch a hinge just like you can a trigger by changing the angle very rapidly, but if you're just looking into getting into a hinge and trying to alleviate and deal with some target panic issues, a hinge is a great way to do it, but I would just highly encourage you to learn to shoot a hinge properly so that you develop good techniques as you go forward. Uh, so we do have some hinges in the shop, including these ones that I'm going to talk about. This is one of the most highly talked about hinges on the market. Uh, this is the Ultra View, the hinge is what they call that. You can see you have a nice swept back portion of this release that goes into the hook that actually hooks onto your D-loop. What that allows you to do is actually spread the tension out across your hands as you come to full draw. So if you've never shot a hinge before, you may or may not know, but as you draw your bow with a hinge release, you have to keep the tension on your index finger as you draw because it's that changing angle that's gonna cause it to fire. Uh, this swept back neck in this hinge specifically allows you to kind of spread out the tension across your hands so you get a little bit more pull as you come to full draw. 
That's a really nice feature of this release. So this hinge is available with a, a moon that comes with a click. When you purchase this, you can purchase, in addition to this, the moon that goes inside this with no click so that it will not click prior to that shot being ready to fire. Some people like a click because it helps them know that that release is close to actually firing and that's when they start to execute their shot. I personally do not like a click at all. I like to just go through my shot process and not be warned essentially that it's gonna go off. So there are some other additional pieces that you can purchase with this hinge, one of them being the hunting bracket. You can see that in the shop as well. It's actually just a piece that hooks onto the back of this increases the weight of the release. It also gives you a spot to tie in a wrist strap if you wanna put that around your wrist. Overall, this hinge is really comfortable in your hand. Uh, it comes in two different sizes, medium, large, and it also comes in two different varieties of materials. So this is the aluminum version, also comes in a brass. Obviously, the brass is gonna be heavier. Personally, I really like a heavy weight release in my hand when it comes to a hinge. What that allows you to do is as you relax through that shot, the weight of that release, it just kind of helps it execute more smoothly. So I highly recommend the brass version of this release. This is a phenomenal hinge release if you're looking to get into that style of shooting. The next hinge I'm going to show you is another new one for us uh, and a new brand to the Go Hunt Gear Shop, uh, B3. So B3 makes releases. They make really nice top end releases that feel great in your hand. The reason that I like this one in particular is because it comes with a wrist strap, but it is a hinge release. So if you worry about setting your release down and walking off without it, uh, this will alleviate that worry for you. It is a true hinge release, exact same as the hinge that I just talked about. It's going to fire as you relax and pull through that shot. Uh, it's a pretty simple hinge, it's comfortable in the hand, and like I said, one of the best features about this B3 Ranger release is that it comes with the wrist strap, and you can also adjust the length of that wrist strap. I've had times where I've set my release down and walked off without it, and then had to come back and find it. I've done it a couple of times over probably the last 10 years, which is very annoying. This will alleviate that problem because obviously it's strapped to your wrist. So if you're looking for a hinge with a wrist strap, this is a really nice option from B3. Once again, this is the Ranger. Moving more into your traditional index finger style release, I have three of my very favorites from the Gohan Gear Shop. Uh, one of them that I wanna talk about today is the True Ball Execution. This release is a simple hook design, so it's very quiet to load. You just simply slide that onto your D-loop. The actual trigger mechanism itself is very easy to reset. You're just gonna push this button in on the side and that's gonna lock it in. This index finger execution release has tons of adjustability both in the amount of tension and the trigger travel in it. You can obviously adjust the length of the strap from your wrist strap here by loosening the lock screw here and moving that in and out to get a custom fit for your hand. It's a really clean break. The reason I like this release is one, it's very quiet and easy to load. Two, has a ton of adjustability and three, the break on this release is very crisp. Trueball makes really nice equipment. Uh, I'm a huge fan of their Excel sites. Uh, in addition to that, I'm a big fan of their releases as well. The hinge that I personally shoot is a Trueball. Once again, Trueball, you've knocked it out of the park with the extension. This is a really nice index finger release. Uh, if you're looking for more of a traditional double caliper release, it's easy to load. You simply slip that over your D-loop, push the trigger over, lock onto your D-loop. Uh, I really like this B3 Alpha Flex release. It's a relatively simplistic release. You've got adjustability in the strap in your hand, so you can get that either longer out to the tip of your finger, or which I would suggest, you know, getting that a little bit deeper into your knuckle here. But you can adjust that. Again, it's a simple double caliper, very easy to use release. I would say this is a great price point and a real high quality release if you're looking for a simple index finger release. Lastly, one of my very favorite releases that we have in the Go Hunt Gear Shop is the Carter RX-1. This was developed in conjunction with Randy Ulmer. This is the release that he used. This is also one of our best-selling releases that we have in the shop. Probably my very favorite thing about this RX-1 is just how crisp the brake is on the release. It's very easy to load with the hook here on the side. You just simply pop your D-loop in, you pull that into full draw, and as you start to relax and pull that trigger, as that starts to open up and you have tension on that D-loop, that thing pops and it opens right up. It's a very crisp, clean break. Um, Carter, obviously known for the quality that they provide in a release. 
This is a really nice release. If you're looking for a step up in your current index finger release, this is a really nice option from Carter. Again, this is probably one of the best selling releases that we have in the Gohan gear shop. Tons of reliability built into these Carter releases. So if you're looking for a new release, uh, Gohan gear shop, we obviously have a bunch of new ones. These are some of my very favorite. Releases are a lot like potato chips. You can't just have one. You gotta have a whole pouch full of them. You know, I'd suggest I probably have 10 or 15. So, you know, get a new release. The hunt seasons will be here before you know it and good luck.